And we're back, and still with us is a very special guest, Miss Pia Guanyo. Hey, naman, let's talk about your personal walk with the Lord, Pia. Were you a Christian all your life? No, you were... my mom was very pious. Mm -hmm. She would yeah. go to to church uh, every Sunday, bring the whole family with her, and us, naman, sige, nagpa-participate kami and all that. But parang growing up. I always felt like it was sent enough. Parang mm -hmm. nakukulangan ako. Kasi mm -hmm. after Sunday, parang wala na. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hindi ko na na remember si God the rest of the week. Alam mo yun? Parang it was just a, an obligation that I had to do with my family every mm -hmm. Sunday. Mm -hmm. So it came to a point na when I had my own time, mm -hmm. this was after, after I graduated already, I started looking all around for something to 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 fill that that gap or yes. that emptiness. So it came to a point na meron akong kaibigan who was very open-minded about uh, religion or spirituality. She brought me to a Hindu ceremony mm -hmm. na I I guess wasn't right for me the minute I walked in and then I saw like cooked food at the alt at their altar parang I felt so alienated sabi yes. ko hindi siguro ito tapos I started reading up on new age book I started reading mm. new age books parang it I subscribed to it for a while pero it also faded mm. like parang it was very ningas kugon lang and then it was only when and I think this was God's plan yeah. for why He put me in Eat Bulaga. Because mm -hmm. uh, my boss in Eat Bulaga, si, si Malucho Afagar, is a Christian. Mm -hmm. Na she was the one who talagang insisted also on having Bible study in in Eat Bulaga every week, wow. which All I would family. attend. Oh. So, talagang. Uh, pinupursigin niya kami yeah. to the point of intimidating us. Hay, <laughs> mutahin by Bible study. Well, as well, yung pag-intimidating. Kasi nagamit niya ang influence niya. Na parang it worked. Then, kasi oh. syempre, medyo matitigas din mga mm. ulo natin, di ba? Mm -hmm. Minsan, ayaw pa natin sumunod. Ayaw yes. natin bigyan ng chance. Uh -oh. Siguro, it also came as a, at a good time na parang I was looking. Mm -hmm. Tapos, so, you're open. You're she open was makulit the din. Yeah. Uh -oh. Imagine, she would pick me up with her whole family on a Sunday morning uh -huh. and bring me to church with her. Pinatsugaan mm -hmm. ka talaga. Na dito oh, talaga, oh. nag-open talaga yung eyes ko na parang, wow, I learned so much more. Yeah. It hit a nerve, mm -hmm. obviously. And yeah. then, um, so I, I continued the Bible study. And siguro, after a certain time, medyo najahi na ako kasi parang part of the family ako mm -hmm. ng mga fagars na hindi naman. <laughs> so parang najahi ako sa kanya uh, to go. Yeah. Um, it was only until I started working with Paolo Bedionis on one show in Ch Channel 7 mm -hmm. na parang I came back to a, to a Christian service and it was in victory. Si Paolo naman nagdala sa akin. Mm. So many, many years later, I would go by myself tapos mawawala, mawawala. Yes. The next time that I started going naman was with Raymond Gutierrez, mm -hmm. na co-host ko rin. Mm -hmm. Natatawa lang ako, so the people who bring me to church stop going, pero ako, this time around, I just Mas continued na, na talaga. Mm -hmm. Wow. Siguro, it was because na rin, um, I don't know, God was hitting all the right mm -hmm. buttons. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Every time I would go praise and worship, palang umiyak na ako, uh -huh. or I would just get so touched. Na parang wow, this love was available to me. This kind, this feeling All of this security mm -hmm. was available to me. This feeling of contentment that there was a higher uh, kind of happiness that went beyond your paycheck or your relationship or mm -hmm. your friendships celebrity. with people. Yeah. You're being a celebrity. Mm -hmm na parang, upa, bakit ngayon ko lang ito nalaman? Hindi naman ako miserable growing up, pero parang kulang kasi. Yes. Na ito lang talaga yung nakapag-complete sa akin. Mm -hmm.